Hello and welcome to the first video where we will look at how we do the basic connections all the way from the laptop to the projector. Uh, this one is an important skill because many times you will be required to do these connections. So even where you've got technicians doing the connections for you, it's important to understand these basic connectivities because in the absence of such a person, you are not grounded in your lessons. So let's go straight ahead and look at this uh, short video. It's going to be very short in the sense that I will only look at the basic connections that are required and they are straightforward. So let's just go right ahead and see what the lesson entails. So the first feature that I'd like you to be aware is that it's just two things on this type of uh, projector. Uh, the first one is the port where we connect our power cable. It is this one. I hope you know how to use this. It is pretty easy to use it because all you need to do is just connect your power cable to this terminal here and I'll show you how you do that. This is the part of the power cable that you would connect to this terminal. Like you can see, the way it looks like, it's got three terminals there. And when you look at the port, it's also got three terminals with the one at the center. So make sure that the one at the center, which is this one, and you can see when you look at this terminal here, it is at the very bottom. So you also turn it so that this one is at the very bottom. Is at the very bottom. So, so I will turn it round and it will look like that. So that when I slot it in like that and push, it goes in without any difficulties. So I hope that one is not a problem to any one of you. The other, the other part of the power cable is this plug. It goes right into a, a three pin socket. You may be using a wall socket or a, an extension socket which has got three pin so you just need to push this one in and your projector will be powered using this cable so this is a power cable for your projector let's look at the other cable that is connected from your computer to the projector before i show you that i'd like you to be aware of these ports here this one is a vga port the projector that I'm using has got three, three VGA ports. Maybe the one that your school has may have more or fewer than that. But look for a VGA port. It's very easy to identify. It's got this kind of shape and it's got several holes in it. This is the port that you need to use when you want to connect now your computer to the projector. And how do you do that? You need a VGA cable. Over here, I've got the VGA cable, and you can see the way it looks like. It's got several pins in it. They just look at the same way the port looks like. There's just one feature I'd like you to be aware of. When you look at the way the VGA port looks like over here, you find that it is longer at the top and shorter at the bottom. Look at it closely, and you'll see that feature. You'll also see the same feature on the cable here, the end of the cable. One length is longer. You can see the top one is longer uh, and the lower one is shorter. So just like we did with the power cable, you're going to rotate it round so that the short one is at the top while the long one is at the bottom. And then you push it in like that. Gently, of course, because if you do it forcefully and you've not observed that particular feature, you may find that you may spoil your projector. You may even spoil the other terminal on your computer. And then one extra feature will be these small screws that you find next to the VGA cable. They are meant to fix the cable permanently onto the projector like that so that it is fixed properly. Always observe that because if it is not fixed permanently or tightly onto this port, it will not give you the results that you want. So those are the two features that I'd like you to be aware of. The terminal where you connect the VGA cable and 
the terminal where you connect the power cable. Now I want to show you the other end of the VGA cable. Where does it go uh, on your computer? So let's go. Let's go to your computer and see this other feature there. Okay, now we are next to my laptop here. When you look at the sides of your laptop, you will be able to see the same VGA port as on the projector. And here it is. And it's got the same features. But now, the longer part is at the top, while the shorter one is at the bottom. Remember, you've got to observe that. Because if you don't observe it, sometimes you try to force the VGA cable into the into this port and if you've not aligned it properly you end up spoiling the circuit which is connected to this port so be very very careful it's something that is very simple i'm just uh, repeating it here so that you do not unnecessarily spoil your computer so the other end of the vga cable will of course come here one other feature is that you will find with your laptop it will not have those provisions for fixing the VGA permanently onto your computer. So you might want to make sure that you do not move your computer around once it is connected or even press it in any way because the effect will be spoiling this port. And when that happens, your computer will get spoiled. The other feature that we did not see on the projector was that the projector that I'm using here does not have the HDMI port. But you'll find that your computer has an HDMI port and it looks like a USB port only that it's a bit different. And if you want, if you try to force a, a USB terminal onto this one, again you're going to spoil it. Just observe the differences between a USB port which I've connected my camera to and the HDMI port. I will get a projector that has an HDMI port and I will take you through this. But it is similar to how you connect the VGA port. There is no difference. So use whatever your school has. And it is just as simple as that when it comes to connecting your computer to your projector. One other feature that I'd like to emphasize here is that when you look at your projector you will be able to see the on and off button it's very easy to identify it so i'll quickly go back to the projector so that we can see this feature so i have just rotated the projector it was lying flat on the table just gently turned turned it round so that i can look at the top part of the projector and the button I'm interested in is this one, written on. It's very easy to identify. For instance, when you connect your power cable, you will find that this indicator here turns um, orange. And then it tells you that there is power and that now you can switch on your projector. Immediately you press it, it turns into a green color. There are, of course, other buttons over here but I'd like you to get used to using the remote control that comes with a projector because it gives you more functions. And one other thing is that you will not be very close to the projector when you are in class. So you'll be a little bit far. So you might want to use the remote control that comes with the projector to access the other functions. So as soon as you put it on, you start using the remote control. So that is the other feature that I wanted you to, you to be aware of. Three features, the power cable, the VGA cable, and the terminals, and of course the on and off button. And it is just as simple as that when it comes to connecting your projector to your laptop or your computer. So go ahead and practice uh, that skill and within a minute you will be okay. It is not as hard as you think it is.